Little head corgi, all right. Oh my gosh! <laughs> it doesn't have to be five o'clock if it's Sunday. Oh yeah. That is really, really good. We visited Isla Mirada in the Florida Keys for a day on the water. This laid-back group of six islands is located directly in between Miami and Key West. Look at us getting up before the sun rises. And we're just going to get a starter coffee here at Starbucks. Isla Mirada is recognized as the fishing capital of the world for its sheer number of anglers as well as numerous international fishing records. It's for this reason we chose a fishing tour at the famous Robbie's Marina. Robbie's is a tourist destination that has a large party boat that they were running at partial capacity. We were hoping the larger boat size would result in smoother sailing. There we go. Let's get him on. There we go. Yep. Look at that. This is a little head corgi. Little head corgi. All right. There. <laughs> awesome. Uh, two on the throat. <laughs> nice. Nice. Got him. Oh, look at that. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Come on. Robbie's is a tourist destination for good reason. While it charters fishing trips, you can also rent kayaks, go snorkeling, feed the giant tarpon, oh shop for souvenirs, or grab a bite to eat at their award-winning restaurant.
I turned back too quick. That's what we left. We left that to come here. We found a spot away from other people. I can take off my mask. And you know what? It doesn't have to be five o'clock if it's Sunday. Nope. <laughs> okay, so we got back from this party boat fishing tour. Um, they limited the capacity on the boat. We were fine. We had a whole corner of the boat to ourselves. I haven't been out in the open water in a while, and, and so we're trying to feel this out. Describe how you felt. So when we started in the ocean, I was like, Whoa, yeah. We started, yeah, I love all that. And then we stopped and started fishing. And I was still like, yeah, let's get some fish, let's do this. But looking down, I was like, oh, this is not good. This is this is not good. My phone level went, kind of, kind of took a dive. And then I went over to the corner just to go get out of the sun, go to a shady spot and a windy spot on the, on the boat and just sit there for a while. And I did, and I was fine after that. But I went through, I kept fishing. You, I saw you went and rested and stuff, and I kept fishing. And we would go, we would fish someplace, pull up anchor, go someplace else. And and that constant activity kept me distracted. But I tell you, I was on a decline and, and for three quarters of the way through, I was like, that's enough. I, I caught some <laughs> fish and this bobbing and everything. It was, it was just setting in. And I was just like, I'm, I'm a landlubber. And I, I like, it was great though. I mean, I loved it. We caught fish. It, it was, the water the, the, was incredible. Oh, the water was, Beautiful. It we was so. We two sea turtles. Sea turtles. And a porpoise. We we were boating with a porpoise. Pun intended there. Um, yeah, this this whole boating thing. I don't know. It's for me long term. It, yeah, it took my toll, and I was I was ready to get back. The Beach Cafe is a top-notch oceanside restaurant with beautiful waterfront views and the Miami New Times claimed it as a top spot to try the region's key lime pie. Here they serve it up traditional with a whipped and torched French meringue. The planets have definitely aligned when you eat the best key lime pie right in the Florida Keys. Crystal started out her meal with a drink called the Painkiller. Uh, rum, cream of coconut, orange where, 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 juice, where, 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 and nutmeg. The nutmeg. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that. The nutmeg put it over the top. Crystal ordered the Spinaccia Oraca with pear, pomegranate, squash, chevre goat cheese while I ordered the fried chicken sando, island style, with grilled pineapple and spiced fiery ale. And, and a side salad instead of fries, so it's like healthy food. You can see the pineapple and the fried chicken. Great combination. 
even the side salad was good. And some extra basil or something. The moment is almost here. I'm a big fan of key lime pie, and I've had a lot of key lime pie. But we are in the Florida Keys, and we've come to this place, the Beach Cafe, because it is known for the key lime pie. This is supposed to be the key lime pie to get. This is it. This is it. Look at the meringue. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. That is really, really good. I got, I got that charred part of the meringue. Look at look at the top of that meringue. It's different than the one that before. It's way better. You can tell it's because all it's in this really is like plum and was it green? It's simple green. It's very simple. That meringue done so well adds so much to it. Look at look at the look at the topping though. And it really oh my gosh. It's not and that's one of the good, it's not overly sweet because of that. Fantastic. The Beach Cafe here at Murata Bay. Um, the, the food was great. The key lime pie was out of this world. But on top of it, they got like this. This is, this is your backdrop. It smells good. It smells like this is your yeah. Thanks for watching. We hope this gets you excited about getting out and exploring on your own. Click to the right to subscribe. Click to the left for more adventures.